Got my four wheeler in here today. Having problems with the winch. Winch cable will come out, but it won't go back in. Uh, we got a problem with the winch solenoid. Uh, something internal it needs to be replaced. So we're gonna do today show you how to replace it. Ours is located under the seat. In the little storage box back here. Uh, typically they'll be mounted back here or they can be mounted wherever you have space. But uh, mine's mounted right here. Um, here's our new winch solenoid. We went ahead and got a new switch for it too, in and out switch. What we're gonna start to do first is disconnect the negative battery cable. Anytime you're working on anything electrical, you need to disconnect the battery so you don't, nothing bad happens. You just push that cable out of the way. Next, we're gonna unscrew the old solenoid so we can bring it up here, make it a little bit easier to swap the wires and work on it. All right. This one looks a little different than the new one. It's basically the same thing. Just has a few things that are external on this one that are internal. Don't worry about that. Same exact thing. So I'll, what we're gonna do is, what I recommend, instead of disconnecting everything on this at once, we're gonna swap one wire at a time so you don't get everything all confused and end up with a jumbled mess and a headache. So what you need to do, these are 10 millimeter bolts. Just go ahead and get a get a wrench or socket and you can go ahead and loosen all these up now don't take them all the way off just loosen them up and then now they'll be finger tight all right once we got that these are all color coded but the old ones may be able to tell maybe a little tough to tell what they are so I'm gonna start swapping them over one by one Blue to blue, black to black. Just for right now, I'm just doing those finger tight. I'll come back and uh, get the rest up or snug them up after they're all connected. All right, now, when we get to this red terminal, I'm gonna swap that. You notice I left one or two over here. These are old switch wires, and these are all coming from inside the solenoid and just connecting to the posts. All this is, is done different. So you just leave a couple, you swap the main wires over, and now you come to our new switching unit. It has two plug wires, those will plug in here and then one with an eye. The red goes to red. So go ahead and connect that at this time. So now that we got those connected, we can go ahead and connect these. And once we got these connected, I'm pretty much ready to go. We'll take this old unit and get it out of the way. Have that there. We will connect the battery cable. 
just to test it. Well, we can run all the wires and up to the handlebar and everything later on. Oh yeah, need to snug up the rest of these nuts. Now that everything's connected, we got the switch all hooked up. We're gonna go back and try this. So it's going in, which, is, which it wasn't doing before. And it's going out. Problem fixed. Cheap solution to fixing a winch without buying a new one. And this in and out switch can be mounted on the handlebar you see the old one here we'll mount that up and run the wires down and all the way back it's easy enough but that is just how you fix your winch